Hello everyone and welcome back to Rogue Trader. I hope guys you are having a great day. It seems we are at the final stages of the game. We just entered, uh, not just, uh, a few epi uh, one episode back, we entered uh, Epipath where the Lord Inquisitor is and he's trying to activate some doomsday weapon. And we just bought ourselves or different versions of ourselves and it was a little bit interesting a little bit frustrating i like that they put all the different versions uh, which we could uh, choose uh, different routes we could choose like the heretic and the dogmatic uh, characters here but also this uh, this this felt like a bit of multiverse thingy and currently that's uh, that's a very old thing now so I don't, I don't really was, I wasn't enjoyed it as much, I would have avoided it, but it was a somewhat interesting fight. But anyway, we have to level up. Escape plan. The bonus to dodge and parry from surfire plan is increased. What inside? And do we have some? No, we don't have bounty hunter skills. Big body, weak so exposed weakness also reduces the enemy's toughness and willpower. For int bonus, and that's high. Passive learning. On the first in the combat the operative random distributes the same number of exploits as when using analyze enemies among all enemies in the tensor radius around the operative. That's not really our thing. I I thinking a uh, a close combat operative would be a very interesting thing. Offensive fodder, but the operative suffers less damage when enemies affected by exploits. I like that. And with him, let's go with uh, Karos. I think we will need that at the end game, or we might need it at the end game. Hmm, watch yourself. Targets of move, 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 gain a 10% bonus to dodge and 10% bonus to cover efficiently at the start of the officer's next turn. I like that. Personal oversight. Whenever the officer targets an ally with an action, that ally uh, resolves is increased by 1 until the end of the officer's next turn. This affects X and is prolonged until the end of the officer's next turn. Each time it stacks, cannot be prolonged past the officer's next turn. Lead by example, whenever the officer uses officer archetype and two times in one turn, that does not grant an extra turn, they gain the uh, stand with this effect. The next officer archetype will be that does not grant an extra turn, it also affects the officer. Okay, that seems a little bit complicated. I like physical encouragement. When Whenever an ally starts a turn, including any extra turn adjacent to the officer, that ally gains additional movement points. Watch yourself. Because we started to use the move, move, move. And for you, Shereen, we cannot have any more persuasion. Okay, so let's go with... I don't know. Let's go with Medicare and uh, we will train her to use medkits if we can uh, if we can manage that. Mm, fresh target. When it opens attacks an enemy that is at full wounds, that attack deals more damage to that enemy. Perception. 10 plus perception bonus. That's 60%. Inform hit. If the operative is precise attack on the target affected, 
Any bounty hunter skills? No. Reactive study. If an enemy affected by an exploit within five cells, usually keep keep him away from the enemy. Okay. Uh, well, it sounds good on the surface, but we still have a lot. No, it's good because if we grant uh, him an extra turn, then he can use that for zero AP and. In the next turn, it is count because he has only three AP. Okay. And for you, logic, logic, we cannot increase logic. Then medica because you can heal others. Cautious disengage. Attacks of opportunity deal less damage to the warrior. Movement within range of attacks. Cost one movement point less. Crowd kill. Or yet, yeah, deal additional damage for each enemy in the area of attack. Didn't use them lately, so. Boris media uh, attacks deal an additional passenger energy that have no allies and adjacent cells. I like that. Hemorrhage. In the world, has less than 50% wounds, they gain a critical hit chance. Maybe. Epicenter of slaughter. Whenever the warrior is attacked, uh, they gain plus one of attack of epicenter of slaughter until the end of the combat. At the start of the turn, the warrior gains plus one temporary wound for each stack. Uh, these temporary wounds cannot exceed four. Hardened scars. Whenever the warrior is hit by under an endure effect, their damage effect is increased by one until the warrior's next turn. It's also good. Ends their turn near an enemy affected by the ward enemy ability. The warrior gains temporary wounds. Toughness bonus temporary wounds. I think that's the best one because we, we use uh, often the sworn enemy. And the toughness, well, that's eight, but it's still better than the four that, that this can provide. Uh, let's do athletics. And it turned out that commerce doesn't have a, a really much effect in the game. We rarely use the commerce skill. And usually you could use something else, so that's a bit of a letdown. Especially that we are a rogue trader. Joint offense. Operatives allies gain uh, bonus hit chance and critical hit chance by uh, attacking targets affected by exploits. Her intelligence is not that good. Passive learning on the first in combat to randomly distribute the same number of tensor radios. Tide of excellence. When an operative triggers an exploit on an enemy, operative gains plus 1 damage and plus 2% armor penetration until the end of the combat. Only applies to the first projectile in the burst attack stack. I like that. No more Xenos. Then. Hmm. Let's go, Karos. For each agent and ally, the soldier deals bonus damage to enemies. Whereas well, she's rarely combat medica. Killing an ally with medkit in combat restores additional wounds equal. Using medkits costs 180 less. That's it. She's uh, already a badass with, uh, with her current weapons. So, And we cannot increase demolition, so we increase medica. And if we are here, 
When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Be strong. Greater trials lie ahead. My friend, that's a tell And we need med kit that can remove traumas. Oh, this is removes almost anything. Okay, we will use that uh, in combat. But for now, large matic. Yes, surgeon matic. That's what we need. Let me tend to your wounds. Integrity factor increase. Integrity factor increase. Okay. The pain will subside. Oh, field medicine at its finest. Okay, let's use these of the user's conviction. Maybe don't use this. Okay, these are very good. Advanced mech kit. 12 plus medical uh, uh, divided by 3 is divided by 4. Also grenades, because we have run out of grenades. Yeah, the grenade there, why not? Okay, these are one use items, so let's... Oh no, not this one. I don't smack it. Yep. What? So I don't smack. I don't smack. And I don't really use this uh, Fallen of Unreal. Looked good on paper, but I rather have the usual. The usual grenades. Okay, not the advanced med kit. She can be equipped uh, with med kits as well. can or she can be equipped with that okay we cannot use med kits but we can use this med kit okay let's put one there in our pocket. Okay. Now that's over. Let's move on and find the freaking Inquisitor. Let us not go. about you okay, and what's on the other side I want to check before we connect that thing
Okay, nothing. I always have a backup plan. Success is the only outcome I accept. Okay. My success was inevitable. They stand out among the rest. It's like you used to be a symbol of Asian xenophobia. Okay. So that's all. Can we see that that body is there? Right. So we have to figure out how to move on. Or that means they went that way. I always keep my options open. Sororitas power armor. Hell yeah. Join me in prayer. Did we buy her the power armor? Kill. Yeah. Oh yeah. That means he can have that void sweet armor. This one. Heavy void sweet. Pascal, maybe, maybe we should put that on Pascal, because he's more vulnerable, uh, he's got a lot of talents that can reduce his uh, damage. But he's not. Okay. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. We have stuff from Idira as well. Stuff for shock and O. Okay. And or or stuff doesn't O. Oh. They do have improved heavy water. I woke up with a feeling of wonder, as if a field of flowers was blossoming nearby. A child was saved from death. A thousand heretics were burning alive, begging and sobbing and howling. Okay. I like where it is going. Let's check the other two. There's the question. Anti vehicle revolver. Wow. The righteous charge is better, so we still collecting them. 
And there should be one. Let us not do more of that. Okay, so that's where we have to go for success. I'll learn from this mistake. Because of the technical skills, it's impossible. And we cannot do another test, and we could have always keep us, your but I don't price. think that's uh, important. Check this out. Nothing is here. So how do we proceed? Oh, there are stairs. Is there money to be made? And these stairs are I'm not sure if this tournament is in a dead body destroying and reconstructing the power of the world. Okay, at least we know we have to go down. Okay, something is there. And another thing is there, so it doesn't really matter which way we go. Keep your wits about you. Oh yeah. Rise to the top, or get left in the dust. There's the memory core. Just as I planned. Physical, we are progressing according to plan. Our troops have already reached the target. Okay, so we have to go down there. very interesting but how do we get to the I bet there is another my options there. open fate and fortune favor the bold let's see if we can do this oh we need demolition When the faithful are idle, heresy grows. Never doubt me. Okay, we need a magic that can heal fresh injuries. Let me tend to your wounds. The healing is much appreciated. Okay. Back with the grenade and let's move on. Keep your eye on I don't the price. Why didn't I move the camera forward?
Okay, now we are here. Okay. But this is the thing we shouldn't open, I think. Let's talk with Alcazar. I see that you did not heed my warnings, Rakan. Your decision to come here in spite of uh, them may have consequences. But we still have a chance to turn it uh, to everyone for advantage. If your lordship listens to me very carefully. With all the respect to you, Lord Inquisitor, I shall ask you to refrain from any further uh, threats directed toward the blessed Lord Vader. Let's you face uh, repercussions from me. How courteous of uh, you to warn me, Master Versilian. I will remember your words. The line you are treading is a dangerous one, Kalkazar. Stop this madness. You are the one who is attempting something mad and dangerous by acting with insolence toward me. By the end of reckon I am in no mood to squabble with a rope trader, not uh, even with my recently installed lordship. Is that what you are here for? What is it? We call it a shard, and yes, as you have noted quite up, it, it, it is the reason I am here. This construct contains an ancient, or rather a pre-ancient being of cosmic power. They were called the Satan. The uh, entity is currently trying to escape and I am here to color it. That won't work. Alcas are not that the giant device uh, whose design really points uh, to it having been brought into the pit from outside. No one in this world is capable of taming the power of the true in gear the star devourers, and you think even a small and imprisoned part of them is going to yield to you? You are mad, monkey. Mad and short-sighted. Well, I agree on... Uh, I agree with Iriat 100%. Of course the Inquisition wants to call it. How typical. Jerry's honeyed speech dissolves into soldier, uh, soldierly coolness. Oh, damn it! I, even I can see that no good can come uh, of this Grox crazy plan. What is this Titan shard and what is it doing here? A specimen of an ancient predator is the warriors of Uzars who feasted on star system. Reality itself went to their power, but many millennia ago an ancient Xenos race managed to defeat them, shatter them into pieces, and load them away in prison slide. The one you see before you. The Ingir are no mere predators, monkey. They are not just another sentient race. The ancients of their speak of great war between the Ingir and the old ones. And in that world, the Ingir found allies to whom they promised unbounded gifts. You have seen them, Anantak. Your species called them Necrons. The Ingir granted them everything they needed to fight uh, their enemies, but the just came at a price. Built into a state that was neither life nor death, the metal warriors served the star devourers for chaos, until they finally rebelled and conflict, uh, confined their masters to prisons such as this one. Do you wish to be tricked by their power too? Your unsanctioned Xenos has a point, Rogue Trader, which isn't the same as saying she is right. The Imperium will harness this creature's power and turn it against our enemies. And you seek to stand a chance against such power? Do you mean to say uh, that a human is not capable of such a feat? But I am not just a human, I am an instrument of the Emperor's will, one of many. And the Imperium is omnipotent. If I were to fail, another would follow in my footsteps. That's how humanity makes uh, the impossible possible. With the hands of uh, practical people in practical circumstances. Your skepticism is unwarranted. 
How do you think these creatures save the interior? Over my years of service, I have come to realize that the main problem that humanity faces in this war is the imbalance in power. Our opponents are not races or nations, but incomprehensible monsters, and it is high time we acquired one of our own. My yoke will bind this creature and make it uh, like the chain guard serving the Emperor. That is not the full extent of my vision. There are other shards similar to this one scattered across the galaxy. I plan on seeking them out and confining them all inside the yoke. Each conquered monster to be a bol uh, bolster or defenses. Seeing as the inhabitants of this place almost kill you, I gather that something went wrong in this plan of yours. Not at all, Operation Fisher uh, Sentinel is in final stages. Uh, the increase in Xenos activity is a vaccine yet uh, to be a development in the grand scheme of things. They were supposed to guard the device but they slept through the intrusion and only the Satan Shard's animation could make them steer. Theodora's research uh, destabilized the Shard's uh, prison and my project only made it worse. Whenever uh, particles of the Satan Shard's energy sweep out, many uh, curious phenomena occur. Disruption of the trip, the warp reality, when I tame the monster, I will order it to stop disrupting the laws of the universe. And that brings us to the most interesting part of our conversation. You know my plans, so now I want uh, to know yours. Will you admit that I am uh, in the right and join me in this undeniably ambitious act, or will you try to stop me? I will be upfront with you. Uh, if it's the latter, I will be forced to remove you. But I am sure you rea realize that already. That's the second time you have threatened the Lord Captain. I don't think anything good can came out of it. And the Imperium is prevailing. I wouldn't say just fine, but uh, it's prevailing and releasing that kind of power is really, really risky. And he is surging uh, for his own glory. Well, maybe not, but he's too blinded by the purpose and the ends not always justify the means. Listen to yourself, what you are planning is heresy. Enough, Rakan, it will only be heresy if I lose. If I prevail, it will be a triumphant feat in the name of saving humanity from the horrors of this universe, and I will not lose. I will not let you be in this instant situation. The Inquisitor not spawn me, there is uh, not a shred of hatred or disappointment on this face. Very well then, I am glad to have made your apprentice weapon despite everything. Yes, that is the Eliminate the rogue trader. You will beg for mercy, but I will grant none! Show them no mercy! Sir Feen, okay. That's way better than I was here. Because there was at least two dozen people here, and some of them are the backyard. These are just it Sevilla has a lot. And the enforcers has a lot. Oh, we cannot move there. Okay, let's just move there. Here we are. We are to move back. Let's 
Then we cannot move any further back. Pasta. Let's move pasta back also. You know what? Let's put ourselves here. We are not in cover, but uh, we have an ability. If someone is attacking us, immediately we can move away from them. Okay, fingers crossed. Well, we had that ability before. Here. I move as if unseen and shoot. Cannot put them over. I understand your intent. We should be penetrated then with one shot. If I must. This tedium is beneath me. Ah, okay, now I can see. We needed the what is for the opening. Another soul slips beyond. Okay, that was one. I am not your Xenos pet, monk. <laughs> If it serves your cause. Oh my way. Okay. And we should kill the mystic. I will do my duty. Okay, I want to use that. Indeed. What? Here we go. All done. Pain and duty go hand in hand. You're budging in the wrong direction. Just tough it out. Let's make it quick. I will endure. Let's get to it! My battle is not over. Emperor, protect the fallen! Okay, we are out. How lovely! Target lives longer. Don't get too cocky. Am I getting paid for this? Don't get too cocky. Swift and silent. You've got a problem, I've got a prize. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. This tedium is beneath me. Fortune favors the swift. 
I should have used I am not your Xenos pet, monster. No weakness is hidden from my sight. I understand your intent. Tell me, and it is done. I'm still on this. Out of my way! Here we go! Hold on! Oh, my ears are ringing. Wait, come on. Let's get to the next stage. Okay. Does it please? No. Let's make it quick. Okay. Let's get to it. Couldn't dodge uh, the, when the first strike hit us. I don't know why. Okay, I didn't know that was possible. That's cool. If we grant her an extra turn and use that ability once more, she can shoot two times. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. If it serves your cause. Nothing. If I must. But I won't. 86, 86. Please don't this miss. Is beneath Please me. don't miss. I do yes. With my hands. Get rid of that I guy. am not your Xenos pet, monster. Hear you moving. No more. Fool creatures! No weakness is hidden from my sight. If it serves your cause. I will have to reload, unfortunately. Oh yeah, we have an extra form with uh, Joya. And everybody is pretty healthy right now, so I can do that with the right incentive. That. And it would be so good if you can shoot that guy. Don't get too cocky. And shoot him again. Okay. Like Am I getting paid for this? Okay. Victory is imminent. Let's try to take down Karkazar. Mm. 
Let's try. It will be done. Wow. At your back and forth. I will do my duty. And what the? What is this special? What the fuck is now? That's actually good right now. I'm not interested. Indeed. And how about? Victory is imminent. Okay, our gentle deer. Let's dash. Right Doubt there. Doubt is for the weak. Just a minor setback. Oh, because it's exploding, it's hurting Abelard as well. Okay, good to know. Faith without deeds is worthless. Now let's use the running gun. Move there. As the Emperor commands, I act. I believe you can shoot him, yeah, but not... Oh, it doesn't matter because the warship is always hit. Well then. Running by Derek override. My vow is to serve. Vulnerability analysis successful. That's not good. I'm, I'm spreading the damage too far out. I don't regret that in the way, but I can do that with the right incentive. Tell me and it is done. Let's check what this baby can do for us. As the Emperor commands, you, my Emperor! Oh, I like it. Faith without deeds is a strike, is a prayer. Let's get back to our trusty. Exploding Walter. As the Emperor commands, eradicated. Momentum. 
doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. The life card is free, and I think we might be able to bring down Parkinson. Because the heavy bolter has shots are not exploding, so we can save the shit in that room. And for some reason we can shoot over and over again, and I, was and I like that. Power resides in the will of the righteous. As the Emperor commands. <laughs> but I think Parkazar will have some kind of trick up his sleeve. This is why I was chosen! As the Emperor commands, but you, my Emperor! Faith without deeds is... <laughs> okay. But you, my Emperor! We need Emperor. one more. And we have one more. I'll do it. Okay, that's just probably he you so we can As the him. Emperor commands, I none can escape the Emperor's judgment. Can we move? We cannot move, but we can there. I don't have any more progress. So well that was a pretty good turn. Here we go. Hold on to yourself, Avalon. Oh, before we shoot, let's move to a position. Oh, we can see too. Okay. I understand your intent. Soul slips beyond the veil. Let's if reload. it serves your cause. I am not your Xenos pet, <laughs> I think. He will still open this and we have to find uh, the second part. I don't see any way we can cheat that. Target well struck! At your beck and call. Work to us on it! No. It is too early. The yoke must be activated, or all is lost. An invisible yet clear tangible aura of power envelops the figure clad in the robes of a tech priest. It is all the more baffling to hear a youthful, excited voice from under the hood. This is it, the place of our origin. I maybe Nomos is a Satan shard or a tiny part of it. Nomos gaze uh, is strange upon the potential. It was your uh, strike and your wish to escape your prison that begot us. The mysterious creature that has been your ship so for so long or, uh, for so long turns to face you. But it is you, Trakan, who truly uh, ushered us into this world. So let us meet our abominable precursor together, for it is ready to break free. What are you talking about? Can you not talk in riddles? We are out of time. Now. Now it is escapes now.
so much for the alternative as you felt. Okay. Two. And the outlay of the map a little bit. Okay, so. And Balthazar is just standing there. That's rude. But Nomos is with us. Okay, what? Oh, okay. This first. Special teleport. The enemy is random position across the battlefield. Cone shape area that directed at the, the enemy the last few damage tests the down star. Special case will use copies of itself. I'm sure I swap to this one with one of these copies. Features in immunity, mental damage, and combat master, but it was his benefit. Okay. As any part of your core, the energy or the main, each time it is attacked, the sun shot will gain a stack of. Composition and trigger reflective definition in the atmosphere. What's the. energy core? Energy core. And anything that black energy or but let's move the we are I approach there. the designated position. If it serves your cause, this tedium is beneath me. They were hit chance, but very, very minimal damage. Well, we have to start somewhere. Maybe. Let's remove some armor from him. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. I understand your intent. The Covenant cannot damage a star. If it serves your cause. Well, old guy, there's only one thing to do, charge. A tactically sound approach. It will be done. But I don't think you will do massive damage to it. Maybe a grenade first. Nine damage.
Indeed. The threads of purpose are unraveling. I will do my duty. At your back and call. Victory is imminent. Okay, I'm just curious if you destroy one of these. Is it effective then? Oh, there she is. Okay, so let's start with the move, move, move. I can do that with the right incentive. You should be moving uh, the position where uh, you will start firing. Rejoice in battle! Okay. I'd like to, but I can. Living on the edge. Don't get too cocky. Okay. I can do that with the right incentive. Okay. I can't see any kind of damage indication. Doubt is for the weak. <laughs> Wasn't much, unfortunately. Guided by faith. I'll do it. Okay, I we need something to do about his his armor. Maybe if kill one of these hard copies. I don't know. Okay, they are doing stuff. Let's see what happens to the big guy if we kill one of them. So there's only a 10% armor and Faith without deeds is worthless. I have suffered the singularity of annihilation. Yes, that decreases his armor. Okay, so we start to hunt down. These guys. As the Emperor commands, I act. 
doubt is for the weak. I'll do it. This is the one I really want to see that. With the other weapon because that one has 100% more information. On it. Let's put some uh, bounty on him. I'll see to it personally. Uh, this will run as well. We don't want to. Well, you know what? Let's not risk it. Just move Let's there. Let's make some opportunities. Okay, we need the other gun. I'll make it happen. <laughs> Here's my perfect moment. Okay. And I think he can uh, recall these every turn. So... Watch my there. back. Am I getting paid for this? Boost Buster up. Tell me, and it is done. And I think Buster now has a semi decent. About this. Request denied. Weakness is hidden from my sight. Okay, this guy is not disturbing area one bit. So let's move toward there. I move swiftly to strike. And Lloyd. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. This tedium is beneath me. If I must. I am not your Xenos pet monkey. The threads of purpose are unraveling. I understand your intent. What's happening? With him, okay. Unit name not set. Okay. 
Jesus. Okay, I don't know what's happening with him. I hope this means that he is starting to fall. He's got some kind of stack. The green can't. I don't know if I could use damage to him. Whenever an ally attacks that enemy, they deal additional damage equal to the number of degraded attacks. Oh, okay. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. High momentum. At your beck and call. I will do my duty. It will be done. Grey hair, sure hand. At your back and call. It will be done. I will do my duty. No matter the cost. Indeed. It will be done. An exemplary strike. Victory is imminent. More less to your side. Yeah, field medicine at its finest. Oh, and it will be done. The target well struck. I will do my duty. I can do that, with the right incentive. Don't get too cocky. Let's switch to the handball here. As the Emperor as well. commands, I act. Pursue my Emperor! We cannot use the run and gun, that's unfortunate. I'll do it. As the Emperor commands, I ask you to escape the Emperor's judgment. Am I getting paid for this? God Emperor, move through me. Be the fire in my heart. I can do that, with the right incentive. Tell me, and it is done. I know what I'm doing, usually. Yeah, usually. Don't get too cocky. The threats of purpose are heavily. This been, no? Yeah. Let's... Oh, no, let's not use the water because I don't want to hurt Nomos. Are you my emperor? Doubt is for the weak. As the emperor commands, I act. <laughs> Faith without deeds is worthless. Night plus zero. So, but the versatility is also increasing. Oh, that's just about five. Okay. I'll do it. This is why I was chosen.
Oh, energy orb. Okay. So that's the energy orb. And this means his armor is slightly higher. Doubt is for the weak. I am his Go will made manifest. manifest. I will not. No, I must not. Oh. I'll do it. Judgment. I suffered the singularity of annihilation of a divinity. Okay, how much damage can I inflict? That's pretty good. It's as good as done. On it. See to it, but you thought twice before crossing me. Let's do an offhand shot. Oh, if not me, consider this a taste of what's to come. My heart sinks with the thrill of battle. If I must. This tedium is beneath me. A fleeting moment of integrity. I understand your intent. I am not your Xenos pet, monkey. If I must. If it serves your cause. My place is at the fall. At your beck and call. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can go. Victory is imminent. At your beck and call. It will be done. <laughs> Gray hair. <laughs> your hair. That was vicious. I will do my duty. Victory is before. imminent. Careful now. Indeed. Fractured echoes beckon. What is it? Nothing. Dash three. Oh, Abelard, you are in the wrong position.
Let's move here. If he moves there, I think we can avoid hitting on the left. Oh! Okay, he's not too far away. That's great. Faith without deeds is worth <laughs> Never cross a Kazbalikin. You've got a problem, I've got a price. I can do that with the right incentive. Am I getting paid for this? See to it personally. Oh, that's nice. Please hit it's as good as done. Is there a shot? Who, if not me? You should have thought twice before crossing me. That's not much damage. It's more to know one forward. Stop with this. Running by their own right. My vow is to serve. Beyond the sire, vulnerability analysis. Successful. Almost. The scriptural problem. I hope it's not inside the yoke. The ancient Oster struggles against the energy on the place of Deo. It's impossible power that may hurt with fair burst of the signal. It seems to not be forced into a compact dungeon. Work like work to turn into a poor and painful existence in the moment. It could uh, struggle harder, but something is hindering. You are the cause of these hindrances. Only now does the second shaft work as to speak, but the battle was nothing more than the reflexive resistance of an alien mind absorbed a completely different range of thoughts and responses. But now it is thinking about you, and its thoughts are so forthright that you can sense them and know them. It seeks an end to the confrontation, it is capable of resolving it in a way that would benefit all. More and more tears appear all over the shard's form as the yoke absorbs its power and becomes increasingly harder for the shard to maintain its very first Each imperfection in him inflict brings the spark to that purpose of the imprisonment. Do not buy your head before an abominable precursor. It was begotten by the dark abysses of the past. It is a fragment of that which the world stars and gaze civilization. There was no benefit to their planet at all. Allow us to stand against it. This is our time, our, in our impossible chance. 
I yeah. Is it another layer of fear that affects the figure appears before you? Her. After giving you a probing and surprising look, you will find yourself a slight smile. Consign you to oblivion without end monster. Yeah, we are we are destroying this. So if we can destroy them, then let's do it and get over with. I'm on with Nomos. That if these guys killed civilization, they enslaved the Necrons, so let's get rid of them. We shouldn't have released it in the first place, but that's done. So let's deliver the final blow. Your stack leaves another fracture on its eternal body, forcing the Satan to expand uh, one more grain of its tension and maintain it its physical form. And that it is all it takes for its power to start flowing into the yoke uh, in an endless stream. The ancient muscles of that Satan enrage how for this is the second time in an attempt to that freedom is being massacred in so forced profession. As you stand before the Yo Control Alta, you gaze upon it possibly the greatest instrument of destruction in the history of your race. The key that opens the gates to the night and the third height of power. The weapon, a cogitator block that was designed to transmit for the slain present Satan shard, shatters into pieces. It is a weapon no longer, merely a prison. And it is like a uh, monolith. The second shadow was destroyed. The shadow of calamity threatened the Coronus expand. Should the ancient god uh, ever be unshackled, had been lifted at least for a time. Gathering its bleeding uh, worse together again, the road trader dared to build something more noble and civilized in the expanse. A haven for those drifting and unprotected in the strict art of the interior. It will be an unbound uh, frontier where freedom and compassion will not fully extinct. Yet cruelty, intolerance and corruption grew like pestilent source through the sector. Only the rogue traders constant oversight could keep the pestilence at bay. The Imperium could not forgive such insolent deviation from the order prescribed by her Italia. The Bombalan Sardinacy was accused of the satisfaction for the uh, formation of their own empire. The invasion fleet gathered in the Cadiz sector and the lifespan of the young Utopia was as short as its creator. The army of the Trekkan from Bronson was committed to were alien to the Imperium but close to the hearts of many in the extent. Anyone who could not resolve a dispute or who will deny justice rushed to the place, the palace of the rogue trader in search for, of mercy. Having lost his leader and lacking a worthy successor, the court of the began to weaken. The grim legacy of the uh, admirable uh, Espias revealed itself and the protectorate fell into chaos. Grasping uh, uh, Comitant stored the defense, uh, defenseless uh, Dempsey's heart. The era of Caligus' cruelty and wrath came to an end. Only then did the many terrified witnesses to his wild crimes step forward to recount them. Memories of the good, prosperous years of the protectorate under the rise of Caligus' winter scale were eclipsed by the legacy of his innumerable and bloody crimes. Ever in winter scale under his Magni Ascensio and became his dynasty's new way cradle. When he said that the noble uh, Everin lacked firmness or, or judgment, yet he had more than enough trust even in those who were unworthy of it. The young uh, Rogue Trader did not forget those who had saved uh, him from the wicked system, 
and the favors that also Marcius is bestowed on the winter scales. The cult of Saint Rose continued its uh, identifiable struggle to spread the faith around the expanse and expose the wide transgression of the authorities. The stronger and wealthier opponent was the less the rulers wanted to see the black cat creatures. Riots and assassination uh, pushed back out the place where it felt most confident the frontier. Pierre Minos Doloros remained the most reverend priest in the cult of the Saint Doros. He turned no one away, hearing confession from pirates, vigilants, deserters, and beggars alike. It might have been one of those undeserving wretches who infected him with the rare form of leprosy that robbed uh, from his side. Yet uh, his heart could always see the corruption in the souls of his repenting children. In the following years, the Cognizance Fleet slowly and deliberately left the explore system of the expanse for the furthest uh, remote regions. Observation, uh, observation stations and plain words were abandoned and even the Euphrates still became derelict. Statistical divination warned the fleet's conclave of the green awaiting awaited the expanse and yet decided to deliver their colors from the coming storm. Yet they did not share the truth with the lay people. The schism of discontinuing the cycle enforced the entire Cognizant fleet and soon the civil war was over. Disregarding the commandments of their forefathers, the explorators started down a dangerous path of new comprehension, creation and revision of procedures and algorithms. The fleet was united once uh, more and in its unity it was ready to uh, stare down any horror standing in the way of the catechism of the maintenance and operation. The crisis in the next one gave a serious blow to the business interest of the Fellowship of the Void. Having no power for life, they retreated into the darkness of the frontier system. The hard life they faced there forced them into a new trap, curious why they agreed to do anything for survival. They swore to return and retake what had, what had once been theirs. For many years, all these are uh, presided over the captains of the fellowship. At the end of her life, she once again took the helm of the ship and led an unprecedented attack on the mother uh, squadron of the Cognizant Fleet, during which the attacker ma attackers managed to seize a dozen transport ships loaded with the Omnissiah set of gifts. Violence through the expanse put many on their guard and as a result, the Cosmole Commission's business declined. Soon rumors surfaced among the court traders about a so-called commission that had made it through the mall and into the expanse. Its professed purpose was to audit assets and take measures to restructure operation. These words carried with them an ominous threat. Vladim Tokra, as Legion of Footfall, survived 14 assassination attempts and slaughtered no less than 2,000 steamers before a shot finally took his life. The esteemed Leech funeral was held in great secrecy with only his closest entourage being permitted to view his corpse, which spawned some peculiar remorse. The Imperial Navy was wary uh, of the rise of the Combalances. They saw themselves as dogs guarding the flock of the Emperor's subject and there was a new master of the pack, therefore the dynasty was watched with utmost diligence, and the admirals feared that one day they would have to go war against the rogue trader. Chartist captain Asterius Torfast founded the Torfast, uh, Torfast and Companions American Company, excelling in trade and acquiring a substantial escort fleet. After three decades, he traveled to the north, returned to the Imperium in hopes of obtaining the favored warrant of trade. It is not known how this venture ended. When the rogue traders uh, apostasy became apparent, the Imperial Navy fulfilled its duty and fought the Convalescence Master. The Battle of Dargonus ended in a resounding defeat and the surviving ships fled to distant system. Disheartened but not broken, the, cap the captains walked to rebuild their force and plan raids into the apostate territory. Dargonus uh, grew and prospered until it became the capital of the Coronus Expanse. The planet was like a giant magnet whose crew held together the worlds of the expanse, absorbing the treasures and vices of, of the sector. Dragons became the bastion of order in the expanse. From here, primitive expeditions were dispatched 
The painting was the Empire Spire were occupied by officials and workers of the Imperium. On many planets, the expression a man from Dargonus soon came to mean a fearsome inspector with the power of impossible punishment. Kiva Gamma washed off the stain of his former refinement, but not the dark memory of it. The separate house was never silent and promotional days became the supreme law. The glory of the Imperium was uh, forged in the blood and sweat of the spoilers and the milestones of the manufacturing ground, the workers down by the thousands. Even in death, the souls of its servants dare not step away from their machines. Kiva Gamma grew and new manufacturers were founded and the uh, disturbing ripple started to trickle in many years later. It seemed that someone had secretly taken control of the colony shrouding it in a uh, tangible of conspiracy. Neither inquires nor threats to tech priests or execution help. Someone in the shadows was weaving their web and making secret plans. I wonder if it's uh, Amar not doing that. The Xenos was uh, conquered, the Xenos priests were exorcised, and the wilderness was subdued. The fields grew until they covered the entire planet, and billions of tons of provisions were harvested there. Janus had become the breadbasket of the expanse, and threatened it would be a uh, the millions of starvation. Well, I'm sad that uh, Eldar Sar had, had to leave the planet, but it is what it is. At least they could stay there and gather their strength. Genus became a melting pot for cultures from hundreds of worlds, taking in refugees from across the entire expanse in the darkest hour. It became a stronghold and a symbol of hope. After the crisis passed, the refugees started to return to their home planet and to reclaim the lost world, thus bringing Genus the proud name, the home of the Reconquista. Despite green expectation, the coexistence of humans and the Eldar did not uh, uh, lead to enmity. Janus had faced many trials and the, and the struggle against them brought uh, the two peoples together. They did not develop an affection for one another, but they learned to speak with uh, no weapons in their hands. More than and one dangerous xenophile schism was born on Janus. Okay, so they got along in the end. The minds of Leobos sit through deeper and deeper and soon the planet became the darkest and most frightening colony of the expanse, the final stop for the exiled and the damned. The brutal hardened inhabitants of the dead world feared neither humans nor Xenoros, no no mercy and were known as the most fearsome fighters in the sector who had traded their lives for the right to leave the eternal darkness of the mines. Eurodot Luxury's palaces were built under the climate domes shrouded by uh, clouds of poison. They housed so many powerful uh, blackguards, persecuted aristocrats, and wealthy uh, scoundrels that terrible things gained unimaginable political influence. Such grand and sinister deeds were done there that before long the Green Death World was spoken of the new political center of the expanse. No longer uh, uh, Secluded uh, and forlorn, Falstan turned the spiritual center of the expanse. Uh, clad in gold and power, rulers went there to honor, for greatness, criminals for penance, and the righteous for encouragement, and there was no end to them inside. The order of the hammer grew in power and prominence, thanks to the rope leader's patronage. So widespread was the reverence of the Cognatius that his he supplanted uh, Drusus, the warrior on his pedestal, as the most honored saint in the expanse. The Rusenko did not uh, forgive this, and feuds broke out between the clergy, but the warlike servants of the Hammer were not afraid of bloodshed. The fate of the pure voice prophet guarding of the allot Kubiso uh, was a sad one. After visiting seven worlds and bestowing the blessing of uh, transformation upon them, he perished at the hands of a bloodthirsty Dark Elder Palace, along with his retinue and the past as well. Well, some of these fates are, well, the best ones so far are just okay and they are tragic, but this is the green fruit future, so I am not that surprised that uh, 
for a small period of time things were okay and then everything just go, goes back to shit. After recovering for Koda's regime, Futfa reclaimed its status as the trading, uh, trading hub of the Expanse. Having learned a bitter lesson, Vadim Tokoro created the Futfa's partisans military of elected mercenary army that answers only to him. A modicum of Korda returned to the station. The changes that performed once in the support of Futfa ended on the station long after. Four houses opened by the order of uh, the road trader saved many hungry and homeless from that. Unfortunately, this disrupted the station delicate ecosystem, no longer freezing to death in empty compartments or tormented by epidemics. Those who live in poverty now put them back to choke the station, leading to a sharp rise in crime. Organ traders, illegal augmented specialist and savage gangs of homeless proliferated. Uh, the Rikas system turned into a potent uh, wound of corruption, poisoning the expanse. The surreal energies of the Yoni Warp region held it uh, together even uh, in the absence of the gravitational pull of the star, defying the very laws of existence. Unless that quality could put a without minorist, and it poured uh, out in the other system quietly. People of Franklin Manor is saved by the road trade that eventually found the new home. The colony of Nurikat was founded at the edge of the new compounds with the mess. The mess new. Sadly, the world's inhabitants mostly come from a system of high born nobles and very few serve. Not going to study their hands with manual labor, the aristocrats started buying up pirate captives. Soon, Nurikat became the favored safe haven for void outcomes. In memory of this world and all who perished of its surface or met a fate worse than that, uh, construction began uh, on the orbital slip face of Utva for a glorious cathedral ship to be called Riker's Sacrifice. The miraculous fusion reactor powered its engines and cannons, fueling them with the fierce power of the motive force. With the fall of uh, their unholy but from the edge of daybreak, the cult of the final dawn perished as well. Every cell of the court was hunted down and eliminated. It was that some worshippers of the ruinous powers managed to get away, hiding the writings of their war banished lord under their robes were baseless. Left without a mission or leader, the world bearers retreated to the depths of the immaterium. The last act of vengeance was a bloody assault on footfall. The populace of uh, several asteroids was exter exterminated or enslaved, and the state of the Golden Emperor was badly damaged. Rumors uh, of the rotting remains of an elder craft would spread around the expanse. Explorators, privateers, cosmic agents, and anyone hungry for easy money all rushed uh, uh, to the frontier systems to view, to view for a piece of the uh, prize. Some were followed by the war, by others perished in skirmishes with their rivals. The most skilled and fortunate uh, returned empty handed after decades of surging. The colossal ship, as big as uh, an imperial world, simply vanished as if it had never existed. But the legends of the forbidden treasure did dawn and continued to bring the oil source to the ruins. The news of the death of the master of the uh, of, of flesh reached him. Uh, Shaikh Shanshu sent what was left uh, of the Eldar ship to the most distant stars of this time. There, hidden from human eyes uh, with xenotech and sorcery, the Eldar carried on their humble existence and even managed to establish a few contests among trusty monkey who held the Xenos in return for knowledge and technology. Eldar from the fallen craft world Kudaraku who once traveled through the darkness of the expanse in a desperate attempt to gather the remains of their kind were becoming a rare sight. Even the most skillful cosmic agents and audacious bounty hunters with knowledge of Xenos settlements in the edges of the expanse could no longer find their trail. Gods of Eldar Rangers suddenly appeared in different worlds and disappeared abruptly without shedding a drop of blood. Their purpose remained an enigma. The news of Xenos appearing in the expanse was followed by a report from the Aldi World Janus about a strange flash in the night sky. 
When the light disappeared, authorities sent a patrol that located the Zeno's camp among the ancient ruins. Their trail ended near a white monument, Benway Gate. Where this part led the Eldar only their first days were. Time spent on the same road as Bon Key pushed the Farsi Moran toward the flagship. When the Wembley Gate awoke on Genos uh, and squads of Eldar Angels stepped into their ancestors' world, he averted a bloodbath. Granting the Lilithan and this new uh, naive citizens his blessing, disappeared through the shiny uh, uh, portal, departing for a new home. I wonder if we see these both sides of the coin because we made friends with the Eldar. The spirit monolith purified by Harlequin group on the cone uh, where it was hidden from the insatiable eyes of Monkey by raging wars from ships started going missing more frequently in the system close to the planet. Even the most courageous captains gave their region a wide berth as it was then as it was named the Dan Reed. Spirit monolith. Oh yes, I, I remember there was a quest. Where we followed Iliad's people, and there was some Dark Eldars, and, uh, and the, not Dark Eldars, the Harlequin troop, yes. Somewhere on the other side of reality lay Komorak, woman from a main for other dimensions, and illuminated as always with the light of stolen suns. Its tears uh, ever filled with uh, screams and agony. Any misfortune experienced by the dogs to become another scar of its appealing face lost among thousands of other by thus blemishes. As long as pain pools in its blood soaked spires, the insatiable and unshakable Komora continues its uh, flight through the webway along with its uh, unchanging ruler, the leader of the cabal of the Black Heart, and the most dangerous of all dark ever. Asdrubalak. The fall of the Kaaba of the Reading Tempest united Komorak for a brief and bloody moment. The uh, elitists of the Dark City set their struggles aside and found a new game in tearing apart of the domain of Harkon Yeramesis. The fate of the Reading Tempest uh, reminded uh, the other Kaabas that nothing lasts forever in the Dark City, save the city itself. The dimension I get into the Necron Tom world uh, was sealed and not so knew what transpired on the other side. But now and then rumors came from the fringes of the system settled by humanity. Rumors of secret ship ships uh, that appeared and disappeared suddenly without showing any signs of hostility yet. The voice of Foxmaster Master uh, Suri Otta of the Fallen of Dust has long resounded in the expanse, bringing hope and trumpeting the arrival of the merciful rock trader. Offer her wisdom and acute understanding of ship system uh, over her long life, she brought many generations of future boss masters from the Toliman dynasty. Her body was built into the bridge itself, and in times of need, her voice walked through the walks, uh, dispelling uh, delusions and despair. After years of dedicated service, Master Hems from Eradwar was granted, despite his objections, the privilege of rest. The wise servant of the Omissaya implanted an augment into his brain that uh, restored his ability to sleep. Soon after, was something unprecedented happened aboard the ship. The last uh, Hemsman overslept and missed the start of his work, but his temper did become much more agreeable from then on. Many years later, Haifa Kutum uh, John is done with sought permission to retire. He said uh, that age had uh, softened his heart and that a more, more worthy young and assertive successor should take over his position. There was no so shortage of candidates. Under uh, all that fact, Dunlop had a sentimental heart. He spared nothing, uh, uh, for, he spared nothing for the orphans of those who had died serving their old trade. The children were given an excellent education and were eager to serve the Fondalance of dynasty. It's so, I'm so glad that uh, even the minor characters have assembled. I wonder if we can see our companions as well. 
Urban uh, Dreistamp uh, cared more about preserving the influence of his line than the well-being of the protectorate. His blind ambition lost him his governor's seat and the respect of his family. Within a few generations, one of the largest houses of Darius turned into an obscure family of a petty aristocrat. Koryana Gaprak missed the moment when her family, which had previously functioned like a well or machine, started to fall apart, wrecked by uh, infighting. Among her distant relatives, many uh, blamed Koryana for the Kiev Agama disaster. Soon the Gaprak family splintered into war, war infections and spent centuries locked in a violent struggle, only occasionally punctuated by futile attempts to re reunite the house. Members of House Western served the dynasty faithfully and loyally, uh, amassing more and more power. <clears throat> a century later, they had finally gained the respect enjoyed by other noble houses. Yet, power and luxury can dull any blade. The now pampered and idle aristocrats were uh, uh, scarcely recognizable as the descendants of the former middle of Sinashar, Assyria. Clementia Bersian, daughter of Abelard and Chancellor of Dardanus, uh, executed, ex executed her duties irreproachable or okay. <coughs> Sorry guys, I needed to uh, uh, you. And even found time to school the younger generations of her family. She was an equally skilled mentor, chancellor, and political operative. After a century of immaculate service, she surprised everyone by leaving her position and becoming the first mate on a trade ship. She would later admit, like a true Western, that she had always had a passion for ships and void failing. I am not surprised at all. Branches of uh, House Grepak and Mercians became intertwined for a time after the marriage of Astartian and Vincent. To the great sadness of the couple and the great amusement of the spiteful Dorgos family to their marriage uh, produced no children. Just like her ancestor uh, Astartika, Mercian and Grepak decided to uh, dedicate her life to service. Crushed by the events that shook the stability of his house and his inability to prove an an heir, Vincent lived in his wife's shadow. When his time came, he passed away without notice. The Harnaki, known as Nocrum of Oblivion, visited the expanse once again. Speaking on to Dargonus, he came uh, to the Rogue Trader's Palace and left him a special gift, a case of uh, Eldar crafting, unmistakably ancient and precious, adorned with a room of an eye inside the triangle. Only the Rogue Captain knew what it contained. The Harlequin candidly warned him that he was rolling the Roman Sinfonist into a deadly dance, a shaking doom that will freeze within the uh, threads of Taro's loom. Then he promptly departed and knocked uh, without reason. A few hours later, assassins from the dark city of her following his trail and were mercilessly killed. Their armor bore the signs of the Cabal of the Black. After months of searching, Dargonus, uh, Dargonus Wardens found the remains of Aquis Kalanga uh, on the longest levels of the hive. Dark other artifacts and records discovered beside him indicate that the agent of the Inquisition had been compromised and was working for the Zenos. So he was a triple agent because he worked for us, worked for the Inquisition, and worked for the Dark Elder. Well, that's some feat. The old Swiss Maris did not risk returning to Komorag, where the fruit of the fatal source was uh, exacting vengeance on everyone who had helped the rogue trader. He took to uh, piracy, forming a crew from the remnants of the Raven Tempest. Reckoning his old source for battle, he seemed to shed a good hundred years of his age like a snake. The savage deeds that uh, Border Scott of Witness them for traumatizing forever. His architectural genius was shattered. Only the rare collection of consonant had his work written in his shaky hand, put for the ultimate voice station and mortuary. Have he completed his last journey with his Lord Captain? 
Abelard Versailles, with the, the gracious permission of the Rogue Pedro, left his post as Seneschal and took over the helm of his large family. House Versailles rose above his rivals and was never again the target of uh, persecution, even after the esteemed patriarch died decades later in the in bed surrounded by his grieving loved ones. That's a nice end for him. And the rare one. Amalai's shining memory was blackened only by rumors of the creeping madness in the twilight of his life. Many said they had seen the esteemed national talking to someone unseen in a voice which filled uh, with unusual tenderness and sorrow. After the battle on uh, Epitaph, Argenta was finally set on the path of uh, her sister Repentia. Her former fever uh, and zeal gave way to to grim cold resignation. Long for that, yet that seemed to flee before the former companion of the Lord Captain. Or perhaps she just could not find a worthy opponent. For things carried on until one day, while fighting heretics in an uncharted world, Argenta threw herself into a massive inferno to strike down a horrendous world storm. Her comrades saw only shadows in the fire and heard the beasts dying below. The flames burned for several days. When they finally subsided, Argenta's body was found among the charred rubble, lifeless but untouched by the fire. In one hand, she held her chainsaw, in the other, a shard of the gold in the pillow that she was always kept close ever since arriving in good friends. Well, that's a good end for her, I guess. The Mercat and Tabula Officiale unlocked a sea of possibilities for J. Herdai. She left the Casbury Commission and became an independent agent. Choosing, one, choosing one's destiny is a unique gift that ordinary mortals would never dare dream of. But J. was no ordinary mortal. She found new friends, skillful, skillfully danced along the nice edge between trade and piracy, both from the stone granting mercy to the weak, and even brought a couple of modest uh, planets even bought a couple of modest plants and she never even betrayed herself. Half a century later, a fledging globe trader whose name is now Prodot Tabutali crossed Ja, accusing her of abusing her power. The globe trader conquered her words, uh, exterminated her people, and did everything in her power to wipe Ja's name and Ruger deeds from the expansion. Well, until the end, she had a good life. Bendix on Cox, the former interrogator of the Orders in the of the Lord Inquisitor after his mentor's death. Receiving both the Inquisitor's Rosette and the duty of defending the sector from the enemies of the community, one Cox became the new warden of the Coronus of Spurs. After laying his hands uh, on the instruments of mass destruction, the Inquisitor announced uh, a crusade against the many heresies of the expense, with no regard for the lives lost and no mercy for the smallest of offenses, he pushed the legion with fire and sword, uniting thousands of fanatics under his banner. When Inquisitor Van Kalok's time came to an end, he left behind a massive retinue of acolytes. One of them assumed his mentor's mentor when the Inquisitor fell fighting unknown Zenos in the galactic south of the expanse. In her journeys with the Rogue Tilda, Cassidia also experienced all the hardships and delights of the galaxy. The invaluable experience and new knowledge helped her to finally conquer her fears and accept herself and her powers. The Lady Navigator became no author of the house, tasked with addressing the uh, consequences of Tissipone's rule and the chaos that followed her disappearance. For the duration of her reign, she patiently worked on uniting the feuding branches of the house forging alliance and expanding the influence of House Orselio. The Stavir Atlas, which contained the memories of Tissiphone and the uh, Satawa clans, lost its power. House Orselio's navigators once again had to rely on skill alone in the depths of the Immaterium. Many lost their lives, but those who survived the crisis became hardened veterans and pillars of the house. Most of those fortunate souls were young and brave, who few among them were old and wise. He did at last live several more years after the Rogue Trader's grand campaign on Epitaph. Despite her short life, she left behind many legends and tales of adventures in the Lord's Captain's service, and of the terrible war phenomena that she manifested. Well, I hope, uh, uh, I think our, our Rogue Trader once in a while will 
have a drink or drink for her yeah shortly before her that Idira vanished from her post Jared disappeared with her when Jia returned many cycles later she declared that Idira's last day had been uh, full of joy and adventure and that her greatest pleasure had been watching the world bears play oh I see so they they just uh, left and uh, part of it, uh, their time together. That's good. In announcing the discontinuing of the cycle, the Amarnan Collective uh, instilled terror in the hearts of those who revered the uh, few mares of purity, but it gave hope to others. After gathering the, the cycles and recruiting several soldiers from Russell planet, it ventured to the worlds of the screaming vortex and to the infernal forge of the Dark Mechanicus. This part of a reindoctrination re was meant to seize the stolen secrets of the Messiah from the hands of the heretics, temper the court in the fire of battle, and transform it into tool for both eradication and comprehension. The fleet disappeared into the darkness, and only rare echoes of its uh, astropathy messages were ever intercepted. The unit Abel Homonon continued his service to the Amaran Collective. In Unit Elite 5 uh, Companion Minds, he rediscovered the joy of direct cognitive communication un unmarred by inborn other otherness. While outward was silent, he joyfully discarded the images, concepts, and ideas that the only Sayari revealed to him. Fulfilling his function, he overflowed with the exploration of efficiency. For many long years, Iria traveled at the Rogue Trader's site, helping him decipher the secrets of Rosina's races and lending him the wisdom of her kind. Half a century later, she sensed that it was time to say goodbye. The path of the outcast had come to an end. I'm so glad uh, she stayed for half a century, that's a long time. After bidding farewell to her aunt, Iria made her way to, the, to her surviving kin. Iriad followed a new path, the path of the warrior. She only hoped she would never be forced to raise her weapon against the Lortas, who had become her two brothers and sisters in arms. Rumor has it that Briot the Iriad and Pascal met again among the alien stars. A band of uh, other warriors were trying to protect an ancient planetary edifice of their people from the uh, covetous servants of the Omnissiah. Upon learning that Iliad was leaving the Xenos, Pascal personally descended to the planet and struck down his former comrade in us. Her death did not stir any feelings in his metallic heart. Okay, that was just a really, really thick move. That's a very, very, very sad end to Iliad. But yeah, uh, emotions and Pascal are two separate things. Such was the echo of the deeds of the road trader of Hose from Balancius. These that transferred the Kronos expanse and prepared it for events even darker and more violent. But those events were of a different story. This one has come to an end. Okay guys, this was a really really excellent game, even if we just, uh, I had a few beef here and there and we encountered a few bugs but the bugs were uh, fixed, so I think this is, this is a, a, a terrific game, very deep in lore. I, I, you know I doubled a lot in Warhammer 40k lore and even I learned a few, a few extra things. And if you don't know the lore, I think this game has quite a few surprises. And even if you know the lore, it's a different effect because you, you pick on small things and you know what to expect and that... Uh, well, that's make a more interesting experience that you fear, you fear because you know what you will uh, encounter, but you don't know how those things will work in the, in the system of the game. 
uh, I will uh, let the credits roll. I also want to thank you if you have uh, watched this series. I, I, I am amazed. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in uh, other adventures. I'm planning to I'm planning to, uh, to play this game because we have two more paths to take, the heretical and the dogmatic, but uh, I think I will do it on my own, unless you really, really, really want to see uh, that. Just put a comment down below or, or press the like button and if I see there is a lot of likes on, on this series, I will consider to do another one uh, on YouTube. Anyway, I let the credits rolling and I see you in the next one. Bye.
There's quite a lot of Inquisitors supported this game. And a lot, a lot of Lord Captains and Lord Inquisitors as well.
Wow, even corn back the game.
If you watch this far, you're awesome. And bye again.